PARP inhibitors is another example of elegant biology. We know that patients who inherit mutations in BRCA1 and BRCA2 have defects in DNA repair, and that predisposes them to getting breast cancer and ovarian cancer. In patients who actually have breast cancers and are known to have mutations in BRCA1 and 2, these tumors, in fact, are also more sensitive to DNA damage. So when we use other drugs that inhibit other pathways of DNA repair, we can get what's called a synthetic lethal effect. That means it makes uh, the uh, drug that is uh, affecting DNA repair work much more efficiently in patients that have BRCA mutations. And so these drugs have been developed over the last few years, and in the last two years now, two drugs have been approved, Olaparib and Talizoparib. Uh, they both now have been shown to improve progression-free survival in patients with metastatic breast cancer that are known to have a BRCA1 and 2 mutation. Uh, and these have now been published and, and approved and used widely. Uh, however, patients do develop resistance to these PARP inhibitors as well. One interesting way that they develop resistance is the tumors mutate the BRCA receptor back to the wild type, to the non-mutated. Uh, and those patients may then uh, be treated with other drugs, and we need to understand uh, what the biology is behind these. There have been a couple of posters at uh, ASCO identifying genes that are upregulated that may be targeted by other drugs. So this work is very early, but it perhaps will lead us to uh, making uh, PARP inhibitors better and less susceptible to resistance. Uh, there are also dr other drugs being combined with PARP inhibitors. Uh, immunotherapy is of interest because it turns out that patients that have BRCA1 and 2 mutations, because it affects DNA repair, they have more mutations in their tumors, which make for more mutated proteins and activates the immune system to a greater degree. So now by using checkpoint inhibitors and other immune stimulators, you might get uh, a double hit, so to say. And so uh, combination of these types are being explored. Um, and what's your opinion for the future of this type of therapy? Well, the PARP inhibitors clearly have a role, but because of resistance, we need to look at other drugs to combine them with so that they, we can, they can work better. I mentioned immunotherapy as one example, but there are other DNA repair uh, drugs that um, uh, inhibit other aspects of DNA repair that may synergy, synergize with uh, PARP inhibitors, so these are also being explored. And there's also a large trial going on in the early stage setting where patients who complete all of their treatment, and these are patients who uh, are potentially cured but still have a risk of recurrence, are being treated with a year of Olaparib uh, to see if that we can further lower their risk of recurrence. There's also uh, a neoadjuvant trial that is preoperative uh, treatment for patients who, again, have early stage breast cancer in which we are using talizoparib alone to see if we can induce complete pathologic responses. So these are some examples of uh, new avenues for uh, studying where PARP inhibitors may be effective.